So just having a little play with a bowed here, very exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm making a new document. I'm going to do an Instagram post, white background, and there it is. I've got the Zoom tool working. Hooray! It's fundamental, but we do really need it, and uh, you can see it really works. I've only been making this for a couple of weeks, so, you know, it is a work in progress. It is the first look. Um, there you can see I've just brought in this cookie jar image that I like and I've got the scale working so it scales proportionally if I drag it from the corners which is really useful and I can sort of squish it and stretch it if I drag from the middle points so that's really useful and uh, yeah uh, I can rotate it as well um, which we which we use so I'm just showing you the photo editing side of this I mean ultimately it will do a layout as well and uh, kind of an illustrator type function too, sort of desktop publishing and illustrator, but I'm just getting the photo editing working at the moment. So here are my layers and I've got the uh, effects that you used to, so multiply and screen, and you can see that working here with the overlay. And uh, that's something really useful. I can reorder my layers uh, and I can name them as well, which is really useful if I've got loads going on. And I'm not making an amazing piece of artwork today. I'm just showing you what I've managed to build so far, how a boat's looking, what it's doing, um, and really just giving you, giving you a first look at the first stages of this. I'm using the magic wand and it's really, really intuitive this. I can sort of drag it to get change the tolerance. And uh, by holding down um, control on my keyboard, I can actually select other areas and add them to that mask, which is nice. I can feather it as well. And when I delete it, you can see it gives it that nice, um, that nice edge. I don't know about you, but I use the magic wand uh, all the time. And the, the idea here, of course, is to make sure that um, just creators don't have to rent software from Adobe anymore, that we have our own suite made by the community um that we have once and we've got it forever so uh yeah that's how it's coming on again showing you that magic wand and I, I i just used the history panel there which is like a sort of time machine we can jump back to any point super useful and here are some of the adjustments that i've started to build and these are useful because they're going to open up other things for me in the future that i'll be able to build i'm using curves here and i'm selecting the red layer only and i'm going to drag that curve down you can see it's going to remove the red uh, from that background layer there. I can add another point as well, uh, which is really useful. I can add as many as I want, and I can actually sort of then adjust just the green layer if I want. So that's useful, and again, the blue. And um, as I say, I can click anywhere on there to add a point, and I can undo them as well and roll back uh, color by color or channel by channel. It's really useful. Uh, Gaussian blur, of course, is a really useful thing to have. Uh, and that's working very nicely. I'm really pleased with that. And then level adjustment. And the histogram is pretty accurate too, so we can see what's going on underneath. Adjusting the brights, the mids, um, and we can reorder these. My next plan will be to sort of almost make these stack and become more functional depending on what order we have them in. Uh, anyway, let's see. Uh, I didn't mean to export. <laughs> I meant to save it. I want to show you that the save function works. We've got our own format, ABX, because I want to get us off these uh, proprietary Adobe uh, outputs as well. So we've got our own ABX and we can export the image as well. I'm going to do it as a JPEG and we can do a transparent background, which is really useful. So that's kind of it for now. Um, thanks for believing in it and sticking with me. Uh, we will get there with this. I have not given up.